Hi Libra, welcome to Tarot Alignment. It's Melanie. Yes, it's laundry day, pedicure day, manicure day, facial day. Yes, it's also watch your tarot card day. All right, this is your person, Ten of Cups. They're very happy, full of love. Beautiful card. Ten of Cups. Yes. Ten of Cups. They're feeling worn they're feeling um they're feeling your love okay let's see how you're doing libra emperor you're kind of in your you're standing proud you're happy you're um you're in command of yourself you're very much self-reliant right now okay energy between the two of you queen of wands hello sexy card uh, belly is full intuitive grounding tell me more about the person this person they're feeling a little devilish right now and making a choice tell me something about Libra tell me something about Libra King of Pentacles, Chariot, you may have Cancer in your um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Scorpio, this person has an issue with putting their attention into something else other than you right now. They're very happy with you, but something is taking their energy away from you. With this emperor and the king of pentacles is that you're trying to give this stability and um, using some kind of um, intellect to keep things going forward. It's between you is the two of cups and the king of wands, a lot of kings here and the emperor. Um, this is a beautiful reading. But even though that they're, they've got, now that devil energy could be like, you know, working too much. Um, but it's, okay, hang on. The outcome. Six of Wands. Ace of Cups. It's going to be okay. I mean, the relationship between the two of you is going to be fine. There's nothing between the two of you. It's just that something is, is taking this person um, person's attention away. What's taking Libra's person away? Um, Knight of Cups. With the Knight of Cups there, okay, so the Knight of Cups is kind of like this frivolous, I'm sorry, I get itchy and I feel it's like my whole body's vibrating or something. It's weird. It exhausts me. Uh, the Knight of Cups energy is um, somebody who 
uh, offers a cup but isn't quite um, isn't quite like um, it's not their whole body or their whole self it's like part of themselves and that's where this decision is is that they're they're having to give part of themselves to something else that is um, toxic or I, I hate the word toxic but it's um, is I can't think of the word I can't think of the word right now but it, it'll come but it's it's not a choice between you and that well yeah it's about time I think that's what it is it's about time there's time that is being taken away from you because the Knight of Pentacles is only there for like a short time, not a long time. And that's, you know, very, it's, it's a love offer, but it's, it's, but it's an offer. It's, it's an opportunity. It's something, but that's just something that you need to be aware of. But I think that because you have this, um, chariot here and that is mindfully, you know, getting downloads from spirit to have the intelligence to, you know, control the situations. You're controlling the yang and the yang, and you're in control. You have the emperor and the king of pentacles, which are also cards who are in control. In the grounding position, you have the king of wands, which is somebody who makes decisions, and another king of somebody who has experience and who shares the love so it's not about love it's just that something is taking your person away then you have the six of wands which is some kind of victory you're happening between the two of you that could relate to the situation kind of fizzling out and it's not something that is major yeah because at the bottom of the deck is the 10 so the wheel turns again so whatever this is it's just part of life. It's a, it's a phase. And it happens. And there's nothing you can do about it except for mindfully just drive the thing forward. Does that make sense? Okay. Let's get it. Oh, I want these first. Okay, this is like... This is like spinning the wheel of chance because there are 108 oracles and by chance it will relate to this reading. So let's see what happens, Libra. Three cards, okay. You got master, discipline, work smart, focus, structure, teacher, master. Chariot card. You've got bird cage, possessiveness, codependence, clinging, restlessness. That's that devil energy. That's that devil energy. And then we have dice, gamble, take a risk, luck, play games, chances are roll with it, random results, win or lose, uncertain outcome. So whatever this is over here, it's not certain what the outcome is going to be. And that's quite kind of why I think that we're not really getting and feeling trapped. Trapped comes out. So we have four, two, nine. So something that's six, nine, three. You may have to go through this you know, for three months. Okay. Six, contract. Contract, also karma. Also, that number 10, you know, part of the wheel. Karma is... You know, what we see in the uh, 3D and then there is the 5D and um, 
this was something that was probably destined to happen. You know, with this devil card coming up, that might be some kind of karmic cycle that this person, it was destined to happen. Okay. All right. Um, Libra, this was more about your person than you, but uh, you, you're solid. I mean, you're solid. This person is just going through something. All right, Libra, I love you. Take care, and I'll see you again.